Have you ever thought about this question I'm about to ask? And that is, uh, what's the best, worst anime you've ever seen? Like, the anime is shit, and you know it's bad, but it's the best out of the garbage that you see, right? My answer for that is this little anime called Arm Girls Machiavellism, right? Saw this shit in an AMV, right? They was throwing hands. This dude and this girl, they was throwing hands. Like, okay, that looks kind of fire. Let me watch it. I get the sauce. I watch it. I enjoy my time. I'm like, wow, this was really good. A year later, I'm thinking about this anime all throughout the year, but I just haven't rewatched it. Then I finally get the balls to rewatch it. And I'm like, damn, this is not good. Like, what was I thinking, right? I watched it because the fights were cool. And then I rewatch it, and then the fights are just bad. Like, what like nah like this shit was not it was not as good as i thought it was right and that's why i did that's what i was like oh like, oh yeah no nah, this is just garbage but i liked it and i still kept the watching it like knowing it was garbage and that's what i'm here to tell you talk to you guys about the game is uh arm girls and agrolism and this anime i'm pretty sure it's a light novel i don't know if there's a manga and if there is i don't know if it goes past the anime into light novel territory but i digress right this anime sucks but i feel like you should watch it at least once because it's decent enough for that i i guess it's just 12 episodes um but yeah let's let's uh let's get into it let's talk about this master class of shit on reverse magnetism so our main character fudo nomura got expelled from his old school and now he goes to this new school which used to be a school well, it used to be an all-girls school but now like a year like but a year later he decides hey we're gonna start letting dudes into the school so the dudes start being dudes and the girls well before even before the dudes came to the school they were armed so they just started beating their asses and in order for the, uh, the dudes to survive in this school they had to cross dress and act like women but Nomura gets into the school. He's like, nah, fuck that. I'm the realest nigga in this in this uh in this show. He goes to class, and then this chick, her name is Rin or Rim, one of them two. I think I think it's just Rin, Rin Onigawara, and she is like the, the like the the leader of that class, or right? everyone looks up to her. And he goes there, and they start scrapping because Nomura doesn't want to do what they're telling him to, because he's a real nigga, and he he decides to live his life. As, as free as he can. No rules, bro. I, like, out of, like, everyone in this series, bro, like, after realizing that this show's ass, I really do like Nomura as a character, right? I really fuck with, <laughs> I really fuck with his nature, bro. Bro, bro really just be like, yeah, man, fuck everything that y'all doing. I'm finna do me on God. And after Nomura beats up Rain, she kind of you know, develops interest to him, you know, it, it is like, the, this happens like like three times, same rinse and repeat, he beats a class with her, they get interested to him, rinse and repeat, until we get into the main antagonist of this series, Kita Kita Armo, now she, she is also very interesting, because she is the reason I started this series, right, I saw her and Fudo, fighting and i was like yeah that's the that's the reason that's the reason i wanted to watch this series to get to that fight because it looked, it looked really dope when i was when i was like what fucking 15 so i was like yeah i'm gonna watch that but but it uh it really the, the fight really wasn't that good but so uh kia amo and uh no what the fuck is his name no more they used to go to the same middle school and she was interested in no more, but she was like dressed up as a dude, or she like I don't know, I don't I I, I really don't know why she was, why she was dressed up like that, but she was dressed up as a nigga, and Nomer and Fudo became friends, but then Nomer, I mean, but then uh, I said Nomer and Fudo, that's the same nigga. Nomer and Amo became friends, and then ah, Amo starts fucking with like like the weaker people, and then Nomer like, hey, bro, you can't do that. And then she's like, hey, you gonna have to choose between them or me. And then Nomura's like, yo, what the fuck, bro? She's like, don't beat up, don't beat up the little niggas. And then she just starts beating his ass. And that's why he got expelled from his uh from his other school. And then she's here now, but like, 
he can't tell because she's she's dressed as how she normally does instead of cross dressing as a nigga. And and Norma is like he he's he's like slowly piecing together like damn that's that's really that nigga. So at the end of the series they start scrapping and then it turns out that uh, Almo just really really likes this nigga. She's like hey nigga you're mine. Don't get it twisted bro you are mine. After uh, Norma beats her ass she leaves the school and the, the, the that's like I skipped over a lot of shit because it's really not important. The green haired bitch, I also forget her name. She she tries to she tries to molest old dude in a bathtub. That's that wasn't cool. Like why would you do that? That's not that's not cool and it's not very culture like. Um there's, there's there's a lot of wholesome episodes. I like those, right? I'm starting to realize I like I like more wholesome shit sometimes. Right? Like uh when I was reading Berserk, I liked it when Gus was just chilling, not fighting, risking his life. But I also do fiend for that raw shit, and that's what it. That's what it had. It it had that raw text at first, but on rewatch, it was just like, oh, oh god, what am I? What am I doing? I might like if there is a manga, I might go read it because the story was in- interesting enough, I guess. Uh, I guess you can. I guess you can watch this. It's on Prime Video for free. It's got six point six stars, but. A nigga like me when I was 15 did not care about Star Rating. I, I kind of trust those a little bit more now, but uh, it's it's okay. Um, I uh, shit, I, I, I can't, I don't know. No more is cool. <laughs> I'm trying to give this give this uh, anime its props before I get the fuck out of here. Um, no more is cool. I like how Rin. And the blonde haired chick, I also forget her name. No, y'all, y'all gonna be like, damn, for for a, a show you're doing a video, you don't know a lot. Yeah, man, I did like two two searches researches, and that was it. That was that was all that was all my brain could take. But I like how Ren and the blonde haired chick kind of develop as better characters, being hanging around on Nomura. I, I, I guess. Um. Uh, shit. I swore while I was doing the research, I saw this shit get kind of getting hinted at that it's getting to season two. But I was in 2021 and it's 2022 now, so I don't know if that's going to happen. But if it does, I'll, I'll probably watch it. I guess I, I probably. But I don't know. I did a little did did a, did a video a little bit different today because I discussed an entire anime in its whole. But I wanted this. I, I did this to get ready because I wanted to do. A, a video over uh what the fuck is the name of that shit um uh god damn it I, it uh what the fuck what the fuck I wanted to do a video over just like you know small like twelve episode animes right uh what, what what's the name of that uh chivalrous night yeah yeah I already watched that and it was gas and I read it up until the manga where it ended I also know that's a light novel series but. I want to do a video over that, over just the anime though. I, I might do the manga later, but I just want to do a video over that. But in order to do that, I actually want to rewatch that because I, I actually really did enjoy that. I know I'm going to watch it, and I know I'm going to enjoy it again. But uh, I guess, I guess I get in this video here, man. Army Girls Magnetism is a solid what fucking five for me. But you, you can watch it and give it your own rating or whatever. But uh. Yeah, man, if you like to like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Bye.